Hello. Uh, this is a, an introduction video for learning how to use and remembering how to use uh, videos to learn math lessons in grade four and grade five. So um, you are going to need this handout, which um, I'll put on the smart board as well after. Um, but we're going to go through it and then we're going to have a small lesson on estimating after uh, to remind you of rounding. Okay, so um, first of all, in order to find my lessons that I make or your lessons that you need to learn, um, you're going to go to MissBashforth.com and it's going to look like this when you arrive at the page. And then if you are learning grade four math, then you will click on grade four lessons or math four lessons. And if you are doing grade five, then this one's the one you do. Okay, so when you click on it, a uh, list will pop up and then you're going to pick the unit that you need to do, okay? So um, I would show you whole numbers because that's the first one we're going to do, but it's not finished. So let's look at unit one, patterns and equations. And then it'll pull up a page like this, okay? And um, so it has the lessons in order it tells you what you need here and or what the lesson is and then the video is right here the videos are uploaded on youtube so you could find them on there as well they're just uh, listed much easier here okay so once you click on the video this is the it will start one. you'll hear it i'll introduce the lesson um make it big so you can see the whole screen and then what happened here Oh, I fast forwarded all the way to the end here. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so then, I don't know what's happening. Um, listen to me explain the beginning, and then uh, you'll, you'll watch through, and then I just want to get to a part. I don't know where it is. Oh, here we go, practice. So I'm going to do, sometimes I'll do an example with you, or if I think it's an easier concept, I'll just have you do it and then watch me after. But, so, I'm doing this one and then after in the video, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and then do this one on your own. Um, and then you'll play it again and watch me do it, just to make sure that you know what you're doing, okay? Um, it's not very useful if you just follow me the entire time because you might not know if you really do get it or not. So that's why I do that, and I really need you to follow along with that. There we go. Okay, but let's go through this. This will this will cover everything that I think we need to know. So um, it says you will be learning your math lessons on video this year. Miss Bashforth has taken the time to prepare each video in order for you to learn. It is important that you watch the prepared video for each lesson. All videos can be found at MissBashforth.com or www.MissBashforth.com. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is pausing the video. I sort of mentioned it just now, um, but it says during most videos, you will be asked to pause the video in order to complete problems. Be sure to follow the instructions when asked to pause the video. The purpose of this technique is for you to check if you understand the lesson for the day. If you are struggling to understand the problem, then watch the video and do the problem along with Miss Bashforth while listening to her explanation. So if I've asked you to pause the video and do your do the problem your, on your own and you have no clue what to do, then a good idea would be to rewatch the explanation of what we're doing. See if you can do it and if not, then watch me explain and you follow along and do that problem with me. Um, and hopefully there's another one that you can try on your own. But if you really don't know, then just get me to explain in the video, okay? And then if you've watched the explanation and you still don't get it, then put your hand up and ask for help from Ms. Bashworth or an EA, okay? Or even a, the person be sitting beside you, if they understand and they have um, time to help you, then you could ask them to explain it to you as well, just quietly, because math is quiet, okay? So um, that's pausing. And it's sort of, I just uh, touched on rewinding too, which is the next point. Um, so if, uh, I, I think I explained everything on there actually, but it says, if things are still unclear, then rewind the video to a time when it did make sense or restart the video. If things still do not make sense, then raise your hand and ask for Ms. Bashforth to explain in another way or somebody else. Okay, so 
you're going to be really in charge of your own learning this year. Um, I'm going to give you the tools that you need to succeed and I'm going to help you along the way as much as you need, but it's going to be really up to you to um, recognize when you don't understand something and rewind or um, the next part is skipping ahead. Recognize if you know exactly what to do um, and then you don't want to watch me explain how to do the examples. You could skip to finding the answer and see if you're right. If you're not, then please watch the explanation. But if you are right, then great, you're on the right track. Okay, so skipping ahead is the next part and it says there may be times where you may where you are familiar with the content in the lesson. You must, must still watch the video, but may skip through the explanation of solving the example problems. Be sure to check the answer of each problem in an effort to check to make sure that you really do know what to do. Please do not skip videos altogether because Ms. Bashforth does not put everything about each lesson on the handout. The handout contains the basics along with examples, but you may miss some important information if you skip the video altogether. Okay, so it's not okay to just say, ah, I know how to do this, I think. I'm just gonna skip the video so I can get ahead. That's not okay. You have time to complete the assignments um, and the videos in class. As long as you work hard, you should complete most of them in class. Okay, so um, you do need to watch the videos and if you are strong, math student, um, then you may skip parts of the video, okay? And I'm going to know if you're just being lazy and you're just skipping the video because you feel like you don't want to watch it rather than you actually know what you're doing, okay? So that's skipping ahead, only okay if you really know what you're doing. Um, and then there's a portion for at home. So there may be times when you will need to complete math assignments at home. You can access the math videos from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. If you are struggling to remember how to complete an assignment, watch the video lesson again. You can even get your parents to watch the video if they need an explanation of what we are doing in order to help you. So sometimes parents learn math um, a different way than we do now in school. So did Miss Bashforth. But we do, we do math in a 